Hello everyone, I'm Rafael from Numbox Project and today we're going to see a Java challenge about streams. So I'm going to share my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, so um, I'm going to give you a brief of this challenge. So we are iterating um, a stream um, from 10 and then um, decreasing the value. Um, and then we are limiting to five, skipping one. Um, yeah, the, the code is uh, talking by itself, <laughs> but uh, I want to know what's the, the output. So I'm gonna give you some time and then um, you uh, feel free to come up with the answer. Okay, guys, are you ready to see the answer? Yes. Born ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see then. <laughs> Oh, the result is empty. Oh, Everyone man. got it wrong. <laughs> they all failed. Very fun. <laughs> okay. So let's see why. I'm done. Um, I'm going to JavaScript now. It's much easier. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, uh, actually, uh, the drop while method and the take while method, they are very tricky. So I'm going to... Um, explain to you uh, step by step here. So when we use this iterate method, what's happening? We are basically um, printing uh, uh, an int stream since 10, and we are uh, decreasing the value two by two. So I'm gonna show you here. Oh, just a minute, sorry. I just didn't use yeah. the limit. You need the limit. <laughs> Yeah. All right, well. yeah, so um, without a limit, as you, as you see, it would be an infinite looping. So we have to use limit. So as we are uh, limiting this value for uh, 5, we would have 10, 8, 6, 4, and 2, since we are decreasing 2 by 2 here. And then we are going to skip 1. And when we skip 1, uh, we're going to remove 10. So let's see, so exactly. Then we have eight, six, four, and two. And then on this condition, drop while, we are going to uh, drop um, while i is uh, lower than six. Yeah, so uh, we skip one, and then we ask if i uh, is uh, lower than six, but uh, eight is not lower than six. So uh, um, no number will be removed here, and then we're gonna sort it. Um, and then it's gonna be the opposite, two, four, six, and eight. Um, but uh, after that, we're gonna use the take while method. So what happens? We're gonna take all the elements that are greater than two, but in that case, no element is greater than two it's uh, actually it's equal here so it won't take any number so in the end we're gonna have nothing no wait wait so so one second so i have a question for take take while so you're saying that there is no number which is like greater than two but you do have uh six eight i think you also had four if i'm not wrong yeah so uh, that's the trick of the take the drop while and the take while method. So in, in those methods, there is a break. So what happens? I'm gonna show you. So since the first number, the first condition is not true, uh, the take while method will break here. So it doesn't matter if uh, this condition will be true and this will be true and this will be true. Uh, the take while method will just uh, forget everything since the first condition is false it will break so it's gonna break and it it won't matter if the other numbers the condition uh, the condition will be true so the 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 trick here is uh, that on those methods there is a break so if the first condition is not met um, it doesn't matter it won't take any element. I see. So oh, that's, yeah. that's why it doesn't drop anything because 
eight is the largest. Exactly. And then yeah, because the first like element is eight. So I is not lower than six. Wow. Eight is not uh, lower than six. I was actually more inclined to say six and eight, but then I thought it might print six because uh, yeah. it's, uh, so, dropping anything which is less than six, but then it, 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 it is sorting. Yeah, so those methods, drop while and take while, they were introduced in Java 9, and that's why they are tricky. It's because of the break. So um, do you guys have any further questions? Well, what, what I, I'm thinking here is that the, the the great catch here is the 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 sort of the of the the string because if if the guys sort the string before it's easier to to have a logic but if if the guy has a string not a not sorted string so uh, it's difficult to prevent to preview what is going to happen Yes, uh, I did it in purpose, <laughs> just to make it more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but it, it is very tricky. It's, it, it's a, it was good for us. Yeah, yeah you it, the, the way you did, because uh, sometimes 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 we use the 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 some library. It didn't know exactly how it worked, and that that's the way you learn about the. Uh, some features when you use a situation that is not the common situation. That's a that's a good point you you put here because force the us to see how it work in a non common situation. That, that's very good, man. Thank thank you for right. sharing. Thank you. Okay, thank you guys. So that's it for today. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Okay, so that was the challenge about streams and uh, drop while and take while. It's from Java 9. As you, as you see, they are tricky because there is a break. So when the first condition is not met, uh, it doesn't matter the, if the other conditions will be true or not. Uh, it won't take, uh, it won't even uh, compare the other uh, elements. And uh, yeah, uh, if if you liked the video, just uh, give a like and subscribe to the channel because it will help me to produce more videos. And uh, if you want to know more, you go to noobugsproject.com and uh, there is a session there, Java Dev Gym, and then you can take uh, the Java challenge there. And then uh, it's ranked as well, so you can, um, you can respond to the challenge and you can improve your Java skills and be the first, who knows. So see you the next week.